everybody. I'm Heather from the Nocatee Welcome Center, and it's a special walkthrough Wednesday because guess what? We are at a quick move-in home here in Settlers Landing with Providence Homes. You guys know Mark from previous videos, and he's going to take us around this beautiful home and tell us all about it. Thanks for having us, Mark. Thank you for coming out, Heather. We really appreciate you guys coming. We're going to go take a, take a look at the Lafayette. Uh, it's by Providence Homes, Jacksonville's hometown builder, Energy Star certified. What we're going to look at today is the Lafayette. It's um, almost 3,400 square foot. It's a five bedroom, three and a half bath with a separate loft, separate study. Uh, and one of the rooms could be used even as a second office. And we'll see that in just a little bit. The front porch yeah. um, is just so inviting. It's a great area to have a, a couple of chairs, meet and greet your neighbors. Just the perfect spot to sit out and, and enjoy the community. So we're going to go check out the Lafayette. And where we are in Settlers Landing is we are on the first road to the left, so the beginning of the community, on Potter's Mill. And these lots actually, Mark, these are your bigger lots. Yeah, so we enjoy some of the larger lot sizes out in Settlers on the 60-foot home sites. This particular street is just one street in and a cul-de-sac, so very private. And you've got the larger, again, the larger backyards for indoor, you know, out, out um, for swimming pools and additional uh, summer kitchens and, and things of that nature. So right off the bat, as you come in, you've got some glass French doors and you've got one of the home offices that this house has. Uh, it's on the first floor, very private, about a good natural light. So you can see and we've got the luxury vinyl plank flooring throughout the main living areas and, and also in the office and then actually in the owner's suite as well. It's just beautiful. And again, I'm glad Mark said lots of natural light because you're going to see that carried throughout this entire floor plan. And also, if you remember in this video, Mark said that could be an office in the front because he's got another special treat yeah. if you needed two offices right. in today, your home. In today's, uh, in today's world, many, many homes, we need multiple offices. So this house gives you that flexibility. As we're walking through the main foyer, it's nice and wide, very inviting. Um, you've got a powder bath just to your left here. So we've got three full baths, and then here is the powder bath in the main living area. Uh, as we transition in here, you can kind of see some of the upgraded trim work in here, some of the flat stock uh, large baseboard that runs the entire house, and the farmhouse casing that runs around the windows. And here we get into just a beautiful kitchen. Um, it's done up with quartz. You've got the white cabinets to the ceiling. And Heather's found one of the little, little mysteries here in this house. You've got storage so I all love this. the island. And it is. It is all throughout the island right here. And I love the color. It looks like a navy blue mark. It's one yeah, of it's seeing. definitely a very it's dark beautiful, color. It's beautiful. Absolutely yeah. beautiful. I love it. And then lots and lots of cabinets. And I love how Providence Homes took it up to the um, ceiling. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely. Just to the right, as you kind of leave the kitchen area, you've got a double door pantry, a beverage center, um, definitely some additional storage on top of all the cabinets in the kitchen. Beautiful. A wine service butler area. And just to the right, we have a pocket door that leads into the uh, laundry room. We've got the extra cabinets loaded in the laundry room for, again, additional storage. And then this transitions right into a dining area, or it could be a flex area, depending on how you want to outfit that. See, that's great. I love, again, Providence Homes has done this for many years now. They've done just a huge circle that you can walk around. So I love how the kitchen going into the back dining room. But again, if you don't need a formal dining room, because I want to point out right here, this is plenty of space. Yeah, if you have a table, six to eight chairs, Please. this lays out perfect for entertaining. Beautiful. Huge space. And behind this island, again, you can put bar stools. So there's just so much here in this room. Yeah, and one of the strengths of the lot again, and you can kind of see is the, the amount of glass and amount of windows on the back of this house. So we have floor to ceiling sliding glass doors, 12 foot uh, wide by eight foot tall, and three panels collapse into one. So as you're entertaining and you want to enjoy the outdoors, it flows right in and out. And if you ever do add a summer kitchen or a pool or both, I mean, what a fantastic backyard, well over 70 feet deep, 60 feet wide, all the space you would need uh, for entertainment. Wow. Absolutely beautiful. And what's great is, I just want to show people, when you back up, you yep. can actually collapse into the center and make two cool exits on either side or go to one side. Right. I love these doors. And again, look at your view and how huge this backyard is. 
Absolutely. So plenty of family space, entertainment niche off to the left, so very open concept living. Um, and we do transition off the family room into a cool little octagonal sitting room. Um, perfect. Again, it could be a little niche office or a place to sit and read a book, but you get an extra piece of square footage in your owner suite. And wow. it also has a great view of the backyard and outdoor space. So imagine if this was your owner's suite. Now I'm gonna throw this out actually. Mm -hmm. Wonder if you did need a secondary office but not something too formal. Right. To be honest with you, you could utilize this space and look at your view. Right. But that is not the second office, by the way, folks, that I was talking about. But I just wanted to throw out that idea yeah. Yeah. because some people do, you know, they don't need a large area sure. more of a laptop. And because sure. this view is phenomenal. Yeah. And I can't imagine if you have this view working, it would be great. Yeah, you can get inspired by setting up your laptop here, looking out back, getting some emails done. Absolutely. But what a fantastic Space and walking. even at this area over here, let's imagine you put your bed, look, curling, you'll flip around. That is your view out here. I mean, just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Wow. Now, look how big this owner's bath is. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> Mark, take us in. Yeah, let's go check it out. I mean, as we walk in, there's a little pocket door, which is perfect for this area to get the door a little bit out of your way so you can flow in and out easily. You got split vanities, so instead of one big one connected, you've got two separate, and it's got the upgraded rectangle sinks with the three uh, whole faucet by Moen, all upgraded. Um, really cool quartz with a little fleck or a little yeah. uh, sprinkle of light in there. It's just beautiful. I love how these are separate, and then in the middle is your amazing, amazing closet. And we don't have the lights on. I apologize again. This is a quick move in, and they're still working a little bit on electricity. Yeah. But I can't wait for you to call Mark and get a tour of this home because this closet, outstanding, and yeah. you customize it. Wow. Yeah, you could do it easily. Do a belt in there. Just plenty of space. So over to the right here, we're just waiting on the glass enclosure company to bring out the glass enclosure for the uh, for the shower. But you've got a really nice pebble stone floor in the shower. It's recessed. It has a soap niche for convenience um, and really well thought out architecture. Having your linen closet oh. right next to where your shower and you know where you want to have the towel, so really well thought out layout. The extra drawer stack again gives us uh, all additional storage for all the little knickknacks we need to keep in Just the bathroom. Just perfect. And a freestanding tub for for those Calgon moments. You can enjoy a, a beautiful uh, bathroom. Do we there. get those relaxing moments, Mark? Yeah. <laughs> So, I'll take pause. Let's do some a big selling points to Settlers Landing and what the residents that have already moved in have been so excited about. First of all, Settlers Pond is located in this community. You can actually go to Nocatee.com and click on the Recreation tab or the Lifestyle tab, and then you will actually get to see what Settlers Pond is about. But I'd love to tell you, it's a 14-acre pond. There is a walking trail around it. But more importantly than a walking trail, guess what, guys? If you have kids that are in kindergarten through eighth grade, you can take your child, of course, walking, biking, or golf carting to your school, which is Pine Island Academy. So parents that live in Settlers Landing get to take their children to school, literally through the community. Also with Settlers Pond, there's a great dog park, an amazing playground, and there's um, a beautiful uh, dock where you can launch a kayak and canoe down there, and also fish, it's amazing. So I can't wait for y'all to check out Settlers Pond, and we actually have done a video in the past on that. So now we're upstairs, so I'm gonna let Mark take back over. Sure. But this, is what we were talking about. Yeah, I think the, the <laughs> hidden gem is who doesn't want a 15 by 17 fifth bedroom, media room, and it could serve as really the secondary workspace as many families have mom and dad or, or sometimes both working from home. So this gives that additional office and it's very private. It's off the back of the house. Um, so that definitely gives you an extra room. This is an incredible space, and I'm glad you actually said two people could actually have an office in here, especially if only one of them, let's say, had to be on the phone. Right. You could do an amazing desk in the center sure. space both ways. Yeah. But again, if you do not need this as a secondary office or a third office, I'll go ahead and throw that out. Then this would be an amazing media room sure. because it is separate from right. those secondary bedrooms, which Mark right. will show you. And in for a kids today, if you got three, four kids here, you got a tech center. You could set it up as really a neat area for the kids to enjoy. 
Um, and on top of that, you've still got a loft, an open loft coming up here shortly where the kids can unwind as well. Um, with the two-story layout of Lafayette, it does feature some of the larger secondary bedrooms. So all these bedrooms are much bigger than what we typically see in houses in the market. Uh, so again, more room to spread out uh, for, for a large family or whatnot. And I'm going to take a peek. A very nice walk-in closet. Great walk-in closet. And what's great is with these secondary bedrooms, each one has a unique, whether it's size of the closet or a feature such as a bathroom within it. So again, as we go around, we'll show that. But let's go ahead and pop in here. I love the two different sinks. So you've got the vanity, you've got the separate area for the shower. So if you did have that other kid, they could close themselves sure. in the shower, sure. but then the other child, let's say, could be brushing their right. teeth or what have you. Having the compartmentalization yeah. A little more flexibility and actually Absolutely. embedded in that bathroom there is actually a linen closet too. In theory the kids won't have to yell for the towels they're just gonna be right there for them. So, Absolutely. You, know, you can't have too many linen closets so this yeah. all the bathrooms on the second floor feature individual linen closets in the bathrooms. So again here is another bedroom but then wait there's another bedroom <laughs> and, and this particular one is the one that has its own full bath within it. So again, what do you need this for? Or let's say you want a guest room. You sure. don't need all the rooms for members of the family that live here all the time. This would be a great guest room only because again, the bathroom within it, you are in the front of the home. Sure. So great layout. I also want to point out this floor plan, very smart design because these bedrooms are not above the owner's suite. You know, that's a good point to point out. Um, you, you have absolutely no square footage shared mm -hmm. um, on the first floor with the second floor above the owner's suite. So I love that though. So you're not privacy. hearing ch -ch -ch. Right. Right. <laughs> if the kids are running, I'll say that. <laughs> Mark, I do want you to point sure. out because that is the one thing Providence Homes by Bill Seller is known for being an energy star. Yeah, and, and there's three really main focuses and commitments that Providence Homes has made in the marketplace um, to build above and beyond the, the building codes is what our commitment is. So to do that, the first thing we've done is we do every single home as certified Energy Star. It goes through a battery of third party tests uh, and you're just getting a much more comfortable, cleaner, quieter and way more efficient home by doing these uh, do, doing the Energy Star program. On top of that, they're putting spray foam in the attic. You guys might have heard of the chocolate bunny in the attic. Oh, the yeah. beauty of that is it, there's no heat up there. It's conditioned. So when you take the heat out of the attic, the ductwork, the AC system runs properly, more efficient. Um, you're consuming far less. And who, who doesn't want to open up an energy bill on a house this size of $100 to $120? And that's kind of the average for a 3,400 square foot home. Last thing we do is indoor air plus. That's an additional certification on top of Energy Star. And we're testing for VOCs. We're just making sure the indoor air quality and filtration is up to standards. And it's just a cleaner, again, healthier house. Absolutely. So again, you're going to call Mark. You can reach him through knockatee.com. I just want you to know, click on the neighborhood tab, scroll down to Settlers Landing, and then you can find Providence Homes and reach out to them that way. And also our quick move in page on knockatee.com also shows this particular home. So again, thank you for always watching Walkthrough Wednesday. We are in Settlers Landing, Providence Home by Bill Seller with Mark. Mark. Look forward to seeing you guys. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.